Wife cheated after 13 years together. Hi everyone. To give you a little history, my wife, 28F, and I, 28M, have been together for 13 years. We began dating when we were approximately 16 years old, remained together for over a decade, and married three years ago. Because we had the kind of relationship that everyone else admired, everyone expected us to tie the knot when we were still in our 20s. Things began to shift between us over the course of the last year and a half to two years. As a result of certain troubles with her family, she began to grow increasingly estranged from them, both emotionally and physically. She also began to become overly possessive of her phone, and she began to get increasingly close to a male co-worker. To make a long tale short, I snooped, yeah, I realize this is horrible, on her phone because I had a strong suspicion that something was going on based on a variety of things, and I discovered incriminating texts indicating that she was having an affair with this particular man. When I questioned her in early September, she admitted that she had been doing it for a year, and that she had no intention of stopping. In our home, they had been having an affair and sleeping together in the bedroom that would eventually become the nursery for our future children. She apologized and promised that it would never happen again, and I informed her that in order for us to go on, she needed to stop communicating with the person she had cheated on me with. She agreed, and we moved on. Two months later, they are still communicating on a limited basis, with her claiming that it is unreasonable of me to force her to refrain from communicating with someone she considers a close friend. At this point, I'm completely at a loss on what to do. As much as I'm trying, it's hard for me to trust her again after everything she's done in my life. I believe that her decision to keep in touch with him continues to demonstrate that she prioritizes their connection over ours. I'm simply completely conflicted with what my instinct is telling me. Additionally, she has requested that I not inform any of our friends of what is going on, so I don't even have someone with whom to chat. Sorry if this came off as a bit of a rant, but this is the first time I've put it all down on paper, and I'm not sure how to proceed or how to deal with this situation. Edit, I was not expecting such a strong response from you. This was beneficial, with the exception of a few of you who seem to believe that sending ugly responses while someone's entire world is crumbling around them is appropriate. I know what I need to accomplish, all I have to do now is pull off the bandage and go to work. To find out how I should approach the problem, I'm going to phone the lawyer with whom I spoke a few weeks ago tomorrow at a time that is convenient for me. Update. Hello there, everyone. I figured it was past time to make some changes, especially since all of your counsel had been so beneficial. After writing on this site a little more than a month ago and reading all of your advice, I immediately contacted my attorney, informed my parents and a few close friends of what was happening, and informed my wife that I desired a divorce. She begged and pleaded, pledging to make things better and to cut off all communication with the Associated Press in exchange for her release. We spent the entire weekend with her, making promises and saying and doing all that was expected of us by her. Despite the fact that I did not quite believe her, I was ready to give her one more shot to try and salvage what I believed to be our last hope. Things were good, for almost a month, we were more or less just coexisting, but she was spending less time on her phone and was paying more attention to me as a result. I was cautiously looking at her phone two weekends ago when she passed it over to me to show me something, so I swiped up on her open applications, and there she was, conversing with her assistant on Instagram. I lost my cool, and she assured me that he had only messaged her, and that she had told him that she was unable to speak. As I listened in on their talk, I realized that they were discussing what they were each doing that night, which was plainly incorrect. I had been fooled, lied to, and deceived yet again. She informed me that she would eventually block him, but that she wanted to say goodbye because he was a buddy. I told her that what she had done was reprehensible, and that she needed to cut off all contact with him and block him immediately, which she agreed to do. Two days later, I inquired as to whether she had blocked him, and she stated that she had not. To summarize the long story, I informed her on the spot that we were having a divorce, and that we could either go through mediation if she agreed to everything I wanted, or I could hire a lawyer and obtain everything I wanted regardless of what she agreed to. She agreed to participate in mediation, and we will begin the process as soon as possible. My journey to this point has taken longer than I would have liked, 
but I've finally gained enough self-respect to put an end to this and move on to live the life of happiness that I deserve. She continues to attempt to make me feel guilty about everything, blaming me to some extent and tells me what a terrible predicament I am putting her in, but I remind her that it was her actions, not mine, that caused this, and that she must live with the repercussions of her actions, which are severe. Additionally, I, along with the rest of my family, have started informing more of my friends about what happened. This is not how I had imagined my life would turn out, but I know it is a blessing in disguise, and I will end up with someone who truly fulfills my needs and desires. Update 1. So, after I informed my ex, 29F, that we were divorcing him, the gaslighting kicked into high gear. Asserting that I am to blame for our predicament, telling me that I am abandoning our marriage, that it is quite sad that I am allowing our relationship to end in this manner, and that I am removing our dog from the home he knows, and so on and so forth. I maintained my composure, refused to allow her get to me, and went through with the divorce mediation. After a simple mediation session in which she agreed to everything I requested, I received notification from the courts last week that I had been declared a free man. We were able to sell the house within three months of beginning mediation, and she moved out one month before the closing date. Even when living together while waiting for the house to sell, she continued to blame me and accuse me of being unkind since I refused to speak to her at all, among a slew of other things that only a truly deranged human would believe to be true under the circumstances of the scenario. As soon as the house was sold, I returned to my parents' place for a few months to regroup and figure out what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. I began weekly therapy and was able to reflect on the connection, recognizing how toxic and one-sided everything was. I was able to move on from the relationship. How I was the one who was always placing myself last and sacrificing my happiness in order to attempt to endure her and her irrational requirements and demands. The diagnosis of borderline personality disorder, which is a condition that runs in her family, has been made by my therapist, and it makes perfect sense. I was also able to address and continue to address the underlying issues that allowed me to become involved in such a toxic relationship, and I am certain that I will be able to recognize the warning signs in the future. As for my physical health, I've recommitted to it as well, shedding 15 pounds in the last three months and getting back into running, where I'm presently preparing for a 10K. My life has changed dramatically since moving into my own apartment in New York City earlier this month. I am reconnecting with old friends who I had lost touch with, and I have begun dating for the first time in my adult life, albeit pretty unsuccessfully at this point. In addition, I received a promotion at work a few weeks ago for which I put in a lot of effort. I am in a better place than I have been in years in terms of my mental, physical, emotional, and financial well-being and her revealing her true colors to me by having this affair was the greatest favor she could have done for me. As a result of my fear that she would become enraged and abandon mediation, I have not informed all of our shared acquaintances about the affair, but now that the divorce is official, I will inform everyone in our lives of who she is and what she did. Maybe this was all just a long-winded way of expressing that things will get better in the near future. If you have been cheated on, there is nothing wrong with you or with anyone else, and you should strive to utilize this as a starting point for you to make yourself better and work to become the greatest possible person. This will most likely be my final substantial article on this site because, while I do not believe my recovery path has come to an end, it has just entered a new chapter, and lingering on what this woman did to me is not worth it. I'd like to thank you again for all of your help, both in terms of kind words and in terms of the tough realities that I had to face.